All right, hey guys, so I just wanted to show what I got here. So by some, I guess, accident, well, a happy accident, I ended up getting my S8 Plus early from AT&T. It said it was supposed to be here on the 21st, and I got it on the 19th. Um, I know it's like some other carriers were like advertising for the 19th. I think T-Mobile also did that. But uh, for AT&T, it wasn't supposed to be out until um, this Friday coming up. So, and kind of as a consequence of that, you know, no accessories were available. All the cases and stuff I ordered, well, you know, I kind of have to wait for those. So, here's just, you know, just real quick what came in the box. I mean, so you got these headphones that they advertised. Well, you know, they were like, I think 100, 100, you know, some ridiculous amount priced headphones to give away in the box. Um, you get these two little connectors. Which actually, this lets this lets you connect to your older phone. So I had the S6, and I was able to just transfer my data like just by connecting these um, into their connector, and it worked out really well. It took about 30 minutes. I mean, just to keep in mind, I had a full like my memory was almost full on my S6, so it was a lot of data, and it transferred it very quickly for that time. Um, you get your charging cable. All of these, by the way, are USB Type Cs. Uh, these are the adapters for it, so if you want to use your other cables, you can. Um, and pretty cool, it came with a fast adaptive uh, charger, so it's it's pretty cool. Like uh, for my other phone, I had to pay like another extra, like I think it was like twenty bucks to get one of these, and this time it came in the box, which is pretty cool. Uh, ear tips for the headset, and um, so finally the phone, and this is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, um, like. I've like shown it to all my friends and like the ones that have the iPhones and even though you know they love to hate Samsung, um, they could not deny that this is this is this is just a beautiful phone. Like I mean it re it's really cool. Um so a couple things I did notice. Um by the way, you're gonna see that little light over there. It's funny, you can't see that light in real life. That's doing the um that's for the iris scanning. So that's it's pretty cool. I can't see this light that's popping up like in real life. This is just on my camera. That's pretty cool. Um, so other than that, you got this uh, with um, the booklet in it, and this is the SIM card remover. So one quick thing about this: this is really hard to get out. It's really hard to get out. Like uh, I almost tore the pamphlet to get it out. I was trying to yank on it to come up. It won't. So you just like kind of have to wiggle it out from the bottom, like that. Uh, but it's really hard to get out. I was scared to rip it. Um, so yeah, I've already gone through this. I've I've kind of been using the phone like mostly all day, and so you know when it comes to these headphones, uh, I just like got around to them, and so it was like, I was really wondering, are these actually that good? Like you know, are these a hundred dollar pair of headphones, or is it just something that they're just saying, oh hey, it's a hundred bucks, but would anybody buy them for a hundred bucks? That was kind of my question, um, and I tried these out. And I'm not gonna say like they are like worth a hundred bucks or whatever, but it is definitely a big step up from previous headphones that they've sent out that Apple sent out. I mean, these were really good. I was very impressed, especially when it comes to bass. These are really good, and um, so yeah. I mean, about I mean I would spend like eighty to hundred bucks for these. Like I mean these are these are really good, and um, just the material that they use on this. Hang, on, I'm trying to focus. Yeah. Just the material that they use. I mean, these are, it, it's definitely something that's much higher quality than what they normally send you in the box. Um, and getting around, so just a couple things I noticed with this phone. Um, first off, the infinity black color that they have is ridiculous. Like, it's really good. And it's got a really different feel to it. Like, it actually sticks in your hand. Um, but a couple of things, uh, it does smudge very easily. And as everybody knows, this fingerprint scanner on the back, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I just stuck, I just stuck to the pen like it's, but, um, you can actually do the face scanning, which is, I know that it, for security reasons, it's not the best thing in the world, but it does work really fast. Um, other than that, just use the pen. Um, so a couple things I did notice. So when you go into this phone, uh, here, let me open this up real quick. So I'm just going to go to my Snapchat real quick. So when I go to this phone here and what you start noticing is this black line, right? So in over here, it's, it's actually not too bad at the bottom, 
But here, let me show you something. I'm just gonna pretend like I'm sending that to somebody. You notice how that gets a lot bigger. And I noticed that on a couple apps um, where the line will come up to like about here. And so I actually use the arrow launcher on my S6. And so when I tried using it on this, um, it worked fine, but uh, because I guess the aspect ratio is different, it would cut off like around here. So that was something to keep in mind. Um, another thing to keep in mind with this is um, it does have the edge, right? So I, I've been I've been like hanging on to this like all day because I did see drop tests, and while it is very impressive, um, I tend not to risk my phones with that. I ran around for like. Uh, well, a good like couple hours trying to find a case for it. I went to Walmart. Walmart didn't have anything. The guy told me at the counter that they're not going to put out anything till Friday. Um, then Target, same thing. Um, I went to Best Buy, and they actually did. They they set them up today, and um, so just you know to prevent the risk of me actually damaging this thing, um, because the other case I ordered isn't here yet. I did get the OtterBox, and um, so it's just like kind of a bonus thing. And so this is a commuter and this is different than like the other commuters that they've had in the past. Like it actually handles up really well. Um, it's a two part case. And again, it just grips really nicely. But what I really wanted to show was when it comes to having a face down, because that's really what you got to worry about with these edge phones, because the glass is strong, but you got to worry about these edges hitting. Um, for the commuter, it actually, does a really good job like if I have the phone on um, it does a really good job over here like you know it doesn't cover the screen like at all and um, so another thing whoops is that there is a little bit of gap hang on let me see if I can get on that it's hard to see but there is a gap so the the lip kind of prevents the phone hang on try to focus yeah. Come on. The lip does prevent the phone from touching. So your glass is protected with this case. Oh, not to say that that's the case I prefer, it's just the case I could get. Um, but so whenever you do get these cases, make sure that the um, edge is covered on them. Um, I did make the mistake of ordering uh, one of the screen protectors from eBay. And essentially what I got was just a glass cutout that would just like cover this part. It didn't even make an attempt to cover the sides. And um, I, I kind of argued with the guy a lot. But um, that's why you don't get stuff from eBay, I guess. I guess you, I might as well have spent the extra like 10 bucks just to get the um, OtterBox version of it. But the dangerous part of those cases, if they don't cover the edge, is um i don't know if they're actually dangerous but i mean i was kind of worried about it. like if you like actually accidentally like rubbed your finger along the side of it like it could like kind of cut you because again it, it went over just by like a little bit so i i don't know it's if you're ordering online make sure it's like um i get the guy told me um the right one that i should have gotten was the full 3d one so make sure it says that or something to that nature make sure it goes over the edge and covers it because now i just kind of have to wait until that comes in the mail so, but anyways, um, this was just my quick unboxing thing of it. Um, all the stuff is pretty cool in it. Like, def they give you high-end stuff, which, I mean, if you, this phone is, like, was, like, 850 bucks. So, I mean, it's, they definitely treated it that way, and it's pretty cool. Like, there was a lot of detail gone to the boxes and packaging and stuff like that. Um, like, like a metallic blue color. It's, they, they put a lot of thought into this. Um which is very good for the amount that you're paying. Um, but yeah, uh, but like everybody said, like it does have its flaws, but this is a really nice phone. Like I'm telling you, it's really nice. Like it works really quick. It's been very snappy. And yep, so that's just my opening with it. Like I guess I might do another video um, just to see like in a couple of weeks, like if I still like the phone, how's it going and stuff like that. Or if I got other cases for it maybe, but yeah. So, alright guys, see ya.